Welcome back. Now in this video we will implement a design for all worker screen. Okay? So we will create that widget right in here. As you guys can see that widget folder. Right in this directory, right click and create a new dot file. We will name this as a all underscore instead of space and then we will say companies underscore and then we say widget that is fine there we go with the dot file as you guys can see okay all companies widgets now right in here we will have a start for widget so write st in here start for widget and now we're gonna give the name to this as a all worker workers widget now we don't need this key simply dial this and click on this start widget and import the library material dot dot there we go first I'm gonna simply just close that from here and also the persistent this one and so this one now we are left with the widget and in here we are on this dot file so right in the design what we will get right from the firebase in here we will receive it, that data so it's gonna be simply the first thing that we will get is gonna be simply user ID and also the username and it's gonna the user email phone number and also their profile image so for that what we will do right in here let's create a string type user ID and also I want that that once a value assigned to this string type variable so so I want it's not going to be changed then so for that what I'll do in here I'll say final key okay you simply mean that that's why I add this in here now copy that and also paste it for the username also for the user email also for the phone number and the last one gonna be user image URL okay so in here let's have that now name username in here and also let's have the user email we're gonna create that in here so later on we will get it and receive it right in here and we will use it in this design all workers widget and now also we will get phone this small key and the last one gonna be simply the user image URL now let's create a constructor for that so in here we will say all worker widget and parenthesis curly braces edit and semicolon and take this down now we will say required in here and this dot user id comma and we say required this dot username also required this dot let's have the user email and let's say required this dot phone num required this dot user image url so we are done with the constructor add the const modifier now let's jump right in the widget build in here we will remove that container and we will return card in here there we go with the card widget now right in this card widget what I'll do first we will set the elevation to add this add and now let's set the color for that so color for that card gonna be let's go with a white tan now let's set the margin and as usual in the edge in sec we will go with the dot symmetric and we will set the horizontal for that card gonna be 10 and 
also the vertical gonna be 6 tile in here and then you will have that list tile widget in here parenthesis and take this down now it's going to take the on tap event in here curly braces first parenthesis and curly braces scroll down in here add the const modifier so whenever on that list tile the user is going to be tapped then we will simply send the user right to the profile screen so for that what i'll do i'll set the navigator okay so simply we will navigate the user right to the profile screen for that specific user okay with the user id so in here navigator then we will say push replacement that is going to take the contacts now we'll provide the root a root going to be material page root in here contacts and let's navigate the user right to the profile screen we didn't see the suggestion there we go now we will provide the user id okay the user id gonna be simply that we just created okay that one it's gonna be that so simply what i'll do right in here we will say widget dot user id so it's gonna send the user right to the profile screen for that specific user okay as you guys can see the user id right in here so i hope you can get the idea now let me show you one more time so that you guys can write it easily now let's move further below this curly braces right in here what we will say in here now let's provide the content padding so in here as in sec we will go with the symmetric again and we will set the horizontal this time 20 and also the vertical gonna be 10 and here add the const modifier to this agent sack now down in here we will have a leading and right in the leading we will have a container widget and right in the container widget first we will do padding as usual as in sect we will go with a dot only and we will set the right to 12 below this let's set the decoration now so box decoration right in the box decoration you will set the border now in here border widget there we go now right inside that we will set the right in here border side and set it to with one in here comma now add the const modifier so the yellow line will be gone then all fine now we are about to show the user image okay it's going to be right in the circle so for that what i'll do below this box decoration we will have a child and then we will say circle avatar okay right in the circle avatar first we will set the background color so we will go with the color dot transparent there one, okay now let's set the radius radius gonna be let's set it to 20 and child again then we will say image dot network with the help of that let's get that image so we will say widget dot user image url if that equal to null okay then what we will do let me just take this down from here and also from here as you guys can see if that user image url is that equal to null then write in if we will simply show the avatar image okay in case of if there will be no image url if there is going to be no photo then we will show the avatar image so in here what i'll do i'll provide string and now we will open the browser and search for the avatar image as you guys can see that image i have already got this so i'll copy the url and in your case copy any of the avatar image like that and just copy the url and then go back right to the app and write in this string paste it as you guys can see right in here okay this will only show that avatar image 
if that image URL equals to null if there will be no photo okay guys remember that and we did this before so I hope you can get the idea now and if that user image URL not equals to null it simply means that if it's content image then we will simply show that image that the user will upload okay it's gonna be simply that image and right in here so we will say else colon below this we will say widget dot user image URL we're gonna simply show that image now we will remove that yellow lines so the code will be clean then we will simply ignore that okay do not convert to use okay simply in here click and ignore that there we go so basically this video is getting a little lengthy we will end this video right in here okay and we will work further right from next video but first I'll remove that yellow line also in here we will just ignore that there we go so for now on we have successfully implement that as you guys can see I have already explained this in detail and that's it see you in the next one